Hello everyone, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you're all well, I know I am. So I wanted to discuss a little something today. Driver fittings. Well, I have had a few of them in the last two weeks. Callaway, Titleist, TaylorMade, Cobra, Ping. I hit them all. I hit all the heads. Tried all the different shafts that are in my category. Uh, Mid-launch, high-launch. Uh, side note. There is no such thing as a shaft that spins. So if a, a shaft says mid-launch, mid-spin, it's a mid-launch shaft. Shafts don't spin. Heads spin. Heads cause the spin, not the shaft. Okay, so let's just get that clear out there. Um, it's all marketing gimmick. A lot of this driver stuff out there, iron stuff, is marketing gimmick. But here's what I'm going to tell you. The biggest advancement, pretty much the only advancement in the driver market besides weight and the ability to move center of gravity is ball speed on off center hits and spin retention on off center hits to give you that kinetic energy into the ball that's it distance really I mean you're picking up maybe one yard two yards here there every two to five years that's really not a whole lot I can live without that to make sure my bad shots are in a smaller left to right window and a, and a smaller front to back window in distance than gaining five yards or two yards or one yard. I'll take that all, the, I'll actually lose five yards to gain that because it means more chances of hitting out of the short grass than hitting out of the bunker, losing a ball in the trees, the water, or hitting out of the deep rough. So I hit the ping, it felt okay. Uh, probably the third best feeling driver I hit, uh, the 430 LST and the 430. Uh, distance wise was no on both of them. I, I just, it was actually shorter than my current driver. Uh, the TaylorMade Stealth Generation 1, standard head, 10.5 with a graphite design, IZ6 stiff shaft. Spin was consistent across the face, but the distance just was not there. I mean, we're five yards. I'm giving up five yards. I'm not gaining anything. I'm giving up. And it really, to be honest, did not give me any better dispersion at all. Front to back, yes, but side to side, no. And uh, I'm giving up now two things and gaining a little bit of consistency and uh, that's too much for me to give up. That's just too much to ask. Um, Cobra. Absolutely hated how that driver felt. Um, it felt like I was hitting a steel plate. I had no feel on the head. I couldn't tell if I was hitting it high, low, uh, heel, or toe. I just couldn't. And I didn't even... When I hit it down the middle on the sweet spot, right pin center, it felt no different than hitting it low on the face high or heel there was no feeling whatsoever in that club head to me and i can feel just about anything on the club face tried all the shafts just i i just couldn't this year's cobra is a no last year's cobra was a no for me uh, tailor made now i did get fit for the three wood stealth two plus three wood with the 50 gram weight and that is a rocket ship. I was getting my current stealth driver numbers out of that three wood with it half in the garage. If you've ever heard what that, if you ever heard fitters or people talk about the garage, the garage is the port that the weight slides in and out of. All the way back is out of the garage, the least forgiving, hottest face. All the way in is all the way in the garage and it's the most forgiving, slower ball speed numbers little higher spin and in the middle it's you know mid mid and with mid mid for me it was just I was getting stupid numbers out of that so that I do have coming the drivers zero difference in feel distance spin across the face spin was no different did not change one ounce and dispersion was the same as my current stealth what I will say change with the Stealth Plus Generation 2 is sound 
and feel. The feel of that club head is worlds different than the previous version. And the sound is a lot better. Um, the, the last one was just unenjoyable, to say the least. Titleist. Titleist was okay. Um, I didn't get any advancements in drive in, in distance at all. Um, the TSR3, I hit okay. Uh, my dispersion was a little wide. Not as bad as my current gamer, but it was okay. Distance was just not there. But spin across the face pretty much was rock solid. It's what Ping claims is spin consistency. Um, the TSR3 was for me. Um, instead of 22 to 25 on good hits, my current is between 15 and 3,700. Yes, folks, 3,700 on a bad hit, on a real bad hit. This was 19 to 27. That's pretty damn consistent. Now, the Callaway. I tried all the Callaway heads. The Triple Diamond was by far the best at spin consistency across the face. We're talking from 22 to 25, from 2,000 to 2,700. 600 RPM difference versus three. That's crazy good. Distance, just about 20 yards difference. Longer. Ball speeds were higher. Even on off-center hits. Off-center hits, they were five miles an hour higher than a solid center punch on my current gamer. Like, this triple diamond is legit hot. Uh, people say, oh, you're a Callaway guy. You play all Callaway clubs. Correct, I do. Except for my driver and my fairway wood. I have a TSI Two, four wood, and a stealth driver. Those are changing. My hybrids are Callaway hybrids from last year, the, the Rogues. Those are going to change at some point. But money has gotten really, really tight. I am in the middle of getting a new job, hopefully, and I am struggling to stay alive. I don't have, I've been out of work since September, and my skill set, it just takes forever to, to get a job in my line of work. The shaft that fit me the best was the Speeder, Fujikura Speeder NX Blue 6S. That thing was phenomenal. Um, that head sits a little open. And then I would take a 10.5, knock it down to a 9.5, which opens the face a little more. Unless you do, unless you mess with the cog to keep it straight. I prefer it to, to keep it open because. I tend to hook the ball is my miss, and it's a big snap. That's That driver, my yardage, I would start at five yards right of the target, and it would come back 15 yards left of target on a bad strike. My other bad strike is a push, block push. Those 15 yards right, start right, stay right. I can't complain with a 30-yard deviation in, in dispersion, whereas my driver now is 50. 25 right, 25 left, or even worse, 30-30. Sometimes it's 60. I never know. Downfall. That shaft is a $400 shaft, and I, I just can't afford it. I would love to get a triple diamond 10.5 with that shaft. Callaway. Alloway, but I know it's never going to happen. The second shaft I got fitted into was the Hazardous Smoke Silver. And that shaft was between the speeder and my current driver in the shaft, the Graphite Design IZ6. It's just, the dispersion is a little too much for me, and I'm not gaining any forward movement. Or, but I, I am maintaining spin consistency. So I would rather not go with the smoke silver 
and stick with the speeder blue because I was just getting ridiculous numbers. And my fitter and my probe both said I'd be crazy not to get it if I could eventually afford it. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but he says numbers don't lie. Consistency doesn't lie. And he, they were just amazed at the numbers I was getting. Well, folks, I hope you have a good Super Bowl Sunday. Remember, don't drink and drive. Call a friend. Call an Uber. Don't end up in the back of a scout car. Have a good day, everyone.